What's going on guys? Uh, uh, Gadgets123, we're back. Um, again, before I even start, thanks for uh, checking out the videos. Do appreciate all the likes, comments, and subscriptions, of course. Um, again, can't uh, thank you guys enough for all the support and also um, helping us uh, to, you know, post more videos. You know, kind of the, all those, you know, likes, comments, so forth, motivate us to, you know, just keep posting and posting, hopefully at least, you know, we, we are entertaining you on our channel here at uh, Gadgets. All right, so <clears throat> I got this um, charger slash mount. Um, little backstory, I've been trying to get a e mount for my car. The one I had on the dashboard was actually pretty good. Now, <clears throat> this is the problem, that during the summertime, it was great. Um, keep in mind, you always turn on your air conditioning and the car is always cool. But during the winter time, um, you know, you have to turn on the heat. So the problem now is that um, uh, the mount, um, since it connects to the uh, vent, if I start blowing hot air through that vent, what happens is it overheats the phone because it's hitting the phone with the um, heater. So not only is the phone getting hot on the regular processing it does, it gets hot now because of the uh, heat that comes through the vent. So I decided to go another route so I'm testing out a couple of um, mounts and I saw this one um, it's it's a it's a uh, mount slash charger uh, QI charger so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing right now and uh, we'll see what comes with it and in the next video I'm gonna do a quick testing of how it works again it all depends on the magnet guys the magnet if it's not strong enough uh, and uh, if it's not um, you know if it's not one of those like uh you know sometimes they take they, they they pretty much take um um you know cheap round on these magnets and that's uh, that does uh, um, or, or break the um you know the the product the problem is that it could have all the uh, bells and whistles um you know uh, included but if the magnet doesn't work then the phone starts lighting off and if the phone starts lighting off then you might crack it or cause more problems or you know not be able to use it so why you know why even bother so we're gonna unbox it in this video next video we're gonna check it out and uh, give it a couple of tests I have a couple of phones uh, I'm going to con um, put the magnet on them and then we'll test it out and we'll do a couple of shake tests and see if it holds if it doesn't if it holds it with a case if it doesn't and so forth all right so for now we're gonna do a quick unboxing on this so <clears throat> this is the item as you could see I, I did open it a little bit just to break the tape off um, and um, see what's included on it uh, we're gonna go see this together so <clears throat> this is a magic mount pro charge windows dash so you can put it on the windows and the dashboard um, it, it it's from a you know this is a good brand um, so I mean a lot of stuff that they do it's pretty decent good stuff it does it, it is Q uh, QI enabled so it does charge wirelessly on qi enabled devices that includes you know the newer phones nowadays lgs motorola's samsung's and of course the iphones All right <clears throat> here's what comes with it you get um you know you, you get a couple different magnets uh, i see you get two little magnets to put it on like the cases i don't know if you could see it you see like you could put one magnet here one magnet here or you could put this large magnet on the actual case if it doesn't have like little dents um, or maybe the phone itself the mount rotates in different directions as you could see you know you could you know you could put it uh, standing up vertically and so forth and it's magnetically so when you connect it via the magnet then you'll be able to charge the, uh, the phone as long as it's QI um, um, enabled um, now <coughs> it does advertise as a fast charger a sticky grip it does have a sticky grip so it is tape that goes underneath it adjustable angles and it includes a car adapter which is cool all right um so there it is it, uh, it has like a little picture of the magnet nothing else so we'll go ahead and open it up and, and double check and see what comes in it the thing is once you open it it's hard to put it back in because it has so many parts and, and pieces so let's move this out of the way so as you can see you get here the um, actual 
the mount the bracket basically so it is a bracket standard bracket nothing crazy here is the um sticky it is a it's it's a suction cup but it has a sticky tape that's standard with most of these things nowadays um it does get dirty so after a while you have to kind of clean it out or else it's not uh, you see it says rinse the surface base so you could rinse it because it gets dirty after a while um on the other side you will get the um, actual base um the head of the uh mount so it's again it easy connect it just rolls into this uh, let's see here there you go and it's connected nothing crazy <clears throat> let's put this down it does have a uh, this looks like a pretty much about six yeah yeah i could see yeah it's about six feet cable which is nice uh sturdy cable so it's one of the the better cables out there a lot of these um generic ones come with the cheap cables so this one is a nice decent cable that you get in this uh set here i mean you are paying um before i continue you are paying about uh how much is this thing about 60 dollars. so this is basically in the high end in regards to mounts it does it does charge it wirelessly but i mean if you want to save a couple bucks you could just connect the um you know the cable into the phone and <laughs> it probably get a mount for like 15 bucks or so so again but again we haven't tested it yet so we'll see if it's even worth uh you know buying it um <clears throat> so what else oh here's the little magnets that you get in this set so uh, this is the magnet the big magnet that you get um, so you can put it on your phone it, it does have sticky tape which um, I had you know it, it's it's a one-time thing so once you put this on a phone if you the, the more you take off these things and then put in another phone or put in another case uh, the more um, weak it becomes and then the more problems you will have with it slipping from your phone and so forth here I see the other two uh, magnets that come with it uh, to if you want to use these two magnets instead of using this big long one right off the bat I'm already seeing that these magnets are pretty small so if you got one of the bigger phones um, it's gonna be a problem unless the uh, magnet on the head is actually super strong okay but we're gonna test that out in the next video um, <coughs> and then here you get a little accessory um, it's another base with uh, tape and the manual that goes here with the um, I guess warranty and so forth um, you get a couple of uh, additional what are these I guess these are like add-ons as you could see you have a tape with yeah, they look like little add-ons here not really sure for what though here's another one and uh, you get try to get this out of the way and uh, you get the standard um, charging um, head for the car all right so this is basically what you're getting on this set um, you're getting basically a couple of um, things right now off the bat um, not really really um, too you know uh, stunt like wild <laughs> by by this um, I'm seeing a couple of issues with those magnets so for the I mean again I'm going I'm, I'm basing this on the price you're paying so you're paying about $60 on this item uh, and um, you know I, I would I would have thought maybe the magnets would be a little bit stronger now I know it's, it's hard to tell because I haven't tested it out but you could kind of tell they're you know not too strong as you could see look look how easy one hand I could just you know push it and then pull it out and this is the big one but again um, I'm not gonna just give my final review on this yet uh, we're gonna test it out and uh, I'm gonna try with a couple of phones on the next video so we're gonna end this video right now and uh, well you know what you know what guys screw it I'm not even gonna end this video we're gonna pause this video we're gonna get a couple of phones we're going to test it out and see what uh, what happens so again um, not ending it let's just continue it we're going to pause this video um and i'm going to get a couple phones i am going to do a couple tests and see if 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 it's 
even worth uh, getting it. It, it. Again, it all depends on the magnet. If the magnet is actually good, then, you know, I think, you know, if you want to spend that extra money, then it's worth it. But if the magnet is, is not good, then <clears throat> it, um, not, 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 it might not be worth those $60. You could probably spend on something else and get a genetic, a generic one, which would be a lot better than this one. Uh, again, so let, let's go uh, do that test and uh, I'll see you back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so we got a couple of phones here. Um, we have J7, J3, iPhone 6, the small one. All right. So we're going to do a couple of tests here. Um, these have um, cases, as you can see, two cases. This one has no case, which is the regular 6. Now, these cases are not the craziest case. These are actually one of the cheapest cases available. So they're like the, the kind of cheap plasticky rubbery ones so i'm not even using you know the, the big expensive cases or anything out of the ordinary i'm using pretty much um kind of cheap cases nothing crazy again it's just to test out i want to see how the magnet is that will make or break this product and uh we'll go from there that's our that's our dog there <laughs> all right so <clears throat> first up is we're going to use this big long um magnetic um sticky adapter you get uh, I'm not using these yet. We're gonna use these with maybe uh, the bigger phone. So for now, we're gonna use we're gonna do a quick test with the iPhone 6. All right, so let's give it a shot. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. The dog wanted to go out for a minute. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, so. Um, this is an iPhone 6. It has that big log magnet. So let's see how good it is All right, not bad uh, It's kind of weak. I mean normally uh, I seen especially even on my vent um, On my vent um, 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 Kind of bracket it, the, the, the magnet is pretty strong. I mean this one really doesn't even take any Kind of strength to pull it out. It seems like it's kind of flimsy Let's give it a shake test. Let's move these out of the way. <clears throat> Damn, that thing just straight out dropped. Let's try it again, guys. Again, I'm shaking it. Not really that hard. Okay, gonna shake it again. Yeah, it, it drops. It, it basically just straight out dropped. All right. <clears throat> this is actually one of the smaller phones from the other ones. Let's give this a shot. So I'm going to use these on the bigger phone, on the J7. I'm not even going to try, try the J3. Well, you know what? Yes, we are. I'm just wanna, I just want to, I want to try one way or another, but I want to try this first. Um, okay, so let's get the two little magnet things here. All right, get this out of the way. Let's see. This one. Jesus, look how cheap it is. It just came off. All right, put it there, and I'll put the other one right here. Okay. Man, man, if you guys thought this one was weak, this one is even worse. Now, mind you, this is a bigger phone. So this, you know, if you have something like an iPhone Plus or Note, um, you're looking about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, so... I don't have any kind of um, trust in this in this stand, so we'll give the shake test. No, it's not. It's not gonna cut it, guys. It is kind. Of, I mean, it's so weak. Look. I mean, I could see you driving, and this thing just. I'm. I literally just pushed it out. Let's let's give it. All right, check this out. Let's see. This is like a little flimsy. Kind of cardboardy thing. Let's see if I can pull it off. Check this out, guys. I <laughs> just straight out pull it out. Pull, I pushed it out, and this thing is just it's flimsy. It's not even that good. Let's try it again. All right. Here's it. Here's this thing again. This little piece of cardboard uh, didn't come out. Okay, let me try it again. It pulled it out. All right. Let's <laughs> let's give it a shot with the 
long magnetic one. This should be able to stand the push from this kind of, you know, rubbery thing. So let's give it a shot. Move this out of the way. Guys, this thing <laughs> just pulled it off completely. Oh, man. Um, yeah, it's um, trust me. I wouldn't trust a uh, $1,000 phone. I wouldn't trust a $200 phone like uh, this J7 in this device. Because, um, yeah, this is any bumps you hit or any anything that you might do this thing's just gonna go flying um i was gonna test it out <clears throat> by putting the magnet in here and then putting the phone um you know connecting it to the um to the to the head with the magnet but guys if it's not holding it in the outer part of the phone i don't expect it to have any kind of strength if you put it inside a rubbery um, case, even worse if you go into like more you know thicker cases. So um, this is something made to be on the outside. Now, <laughs> mind you, it, it should work good if you put it on the outside, but it's not even that good by putting it on the outside. I mean, you basically saw how weak this thing is, and this is. I mean, I'm hitting it right in the middle, guys. Check this out right in the middle so it's not like i'm not putting it right in the middle and i'm just using this little look at that this just straight out fell um okay guys so <clears throat> i'm not even gonna go you know take more of your time in regards to the uh, the wireless charging and so forth because it doesn't really matter if it charges you know super fast but i mean you buying this mostly because you need a bracket a mount for your for your car the wireless charging is an extra you know extra bonus but if the if the mount itself doesn't work correctly then what's the point of having you're gonna have just a nice you know charger that uh, you could probably use when the car is in idle and then when you start driving that you know it's gonna go offline so I pretty much will not be uh, keeping this. Uh, it cost me about sixty dollars in Amazon. Um, I have linked the the actual product in the description. Again, you know I do not recommend this, guys. But if you want to click on my link and uh, pretty much uh, support the channel, you know by clicking on the link, we get a little you know a little percentage of whatever you guys get in Amazon. Again, you know, I'm just doing that for um, for support. Hopefully, you guys would you know wouldn't mind that. You get you know you guys get charged nothing out of it. It's just you know kind of an affiliate, um, um, basically um, support. Um, you know, it helps out the it helps out the channel, especially if, since I, I have to get these products and uh, test them out and um, you know uh, go from there. Hopefully, you guys you know will will understand. And if you don't want to click it, don't even bother. Don't worry about it. Just keep in mind that. Uh, um, from my review, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but um, if you take two things out of this review, I kind of do not believe that this product, <clears throat> it's worth uh, $60 or even worth $10. So, um, I'm very disappointed on these guys because these guys are actually really good on making, you know, these and accessories for cars and, and so forth so you know not the best but they're not the worst either um, but I seen some generic um, mounts that uh, have been pretty good and I'll try to get some of those so I could uh, show you guys um, okay guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor give me a thumbs up and um, let me know what you guys think if you guys have this stand let me know if I'm doing something wrong um, I think you know these are pretty much straightforward stands so it's nothing crazy so I, I don't think, you know, there's too much uh, uh, um, anything involved that I'm doing wrong. But I think it's just basically comes down to the magnet. The magnets are really, they went on the cheap round. These magnets are pretty weak. All right, guys. So if you guys uh, are still watching this video, thanks again um, for watching it to the end. Um, I'm also going to link in the description. Um, I'm actually a cool, you know, I love to play games, video games. Uh, I'm a gamer. Um, I'm a, my off time, you know, day-to-day -day grind work uh, family and so forth so you know unfortunately I, I i gone down on my gaming but um i do have a my son does have a gaming channel he loves you know i, I 
on our free time usually try to spend some time playing some video games so if you guys want to support it if you guys are gamers check our channel out we have a twitch account as well so mm -hmm. check that out um that would be great um we appreciate the support on those channels as well again thanks guys for watching uh gadgets one two three hopefully uh, you'll come back for our next video and uh, if you guys are interested in me reviewing other things you guys find online or Amazon or whatever send me a link um, if it's not that uh, crazy I'll go ahead and uh, get it and I'll do a quick review and uh, we'll go from there all right guys see you guys on the next video Ooh.